Rick and Morty, the most news in the morning, period. Weekday, 6 Eastern. Did you buy uh, Sarah Palin's claim that the McCain-Palin ticket is actually the ticket of change? That, that debate is just a sideshow, Karen. Uh, it's a clone of uh, the, the major debates by McCain and Obama. The main event is right here in Washington, where Wall Street is trying to shake down Washington, D.C., namely the U.S. taxpayer, on this $700 billion bailout. Yeah, you uh, are saying that you think that it's the wrong mistake, even with the new provisions that are in this? There are a lot of freebies and goodies for all these commercial interests. It's gone from a four-page bill to over 400 pages. You know what that means. But look at the questions that aren't being answered for the American taxpayer. For example, who, who's going to pay for the $700 billion? Uh, I suggest a one-tenth of one percent on the securities derivative speculations that are going on. That's $500 billion it could raise. I suggest that uh, the American taxpayer want to know, uh, is this going to affect interest rates? There's nothing in this bill to avert uh, home foreclosures and defaults. Uh, there's no regulation in this bill, no law and order, no sheriff on the corporate uh, uh, speculation beat, uh, no corporate crime enforcement provisions against the crooks in Wall Street who are jumping into golden lifeboats with huge pay packages. This is uh, a stampede bill, Karen, and a stampede bill is going to have a lot of bad unintended consequences. And those members of Congress, when they go back home after they crack the champagne here, they're going to face a torrent of outrage uh, by taxpayers as the taxpayers well, realize more and more what's in the bill. I, I do want to ask you about that because we seem to have seen a shift. When, the, when, when, when this was first discussed, the $700 billion bailout plan, uh, people were saying 100 to 1 they were getting calls against it. The constituents were calling their members of Congress. That seems to have since changed where there's more people saying, I know we need something. Uh, we need to make sure that we do something. And I, I think there's a little bit of mm. confusion as to what the answer is. Uh, you're, you're right. In fact, uh, the politicians here are actually uh, contributing to the panic by saying chicken little, chicken little, pass this bill, pass this bill without adequate congressional hearings. I've never seen in 40 years a bill of this magnitude without detailed congressional hearings where the best minds around the country. There's disagreement in Wall Street about that this is the wrong package. What happens if it's the wrong package, which I think it is, because at first bails out the speculators and the reckless institutions in Wall Street instead of first providing a safety net for the prudent institutions and small savers throughout America. If it's, if it's a, a train wreck of 400 pages, what's the next act? You have to have congressional hearings. Slow down Congress. If the House is stampeded today and votes for this bill, you're going to see all kinds of consequences, including uh, not f facing up to what should have been faced up to, Co comprehensive regulation, power to the investors and the shareholders to put a stop to what these bosses are doing in the companies the shareholders own, criminal prosecution of the crooks to deter uh, future speculation, and a speculation tax and higher margin requirements will reduce this speculation and pay for the bailout. Just remember, this is a subject for the future, a one-tenth of one percent tax on security derivative speculation, unlike a 7% tax, uh, sales tax on the necessities, just one-tenth of one percent of the $500 trillion in transactions, Karen, will, will raise $500 billion. And it helps answer the question that everybody wants around the country is asking, who's going to pay for this and who's going to get the benefits, the good guys or the crooks and speculators? <clears throat> VoteNader.org has a 10-point plan for the Nader Gonzalez campaign throughout the country in order to bring some reason and some calm and some detail and some deliberation in the next few weeks. But Congress is in a stampede mode.